How big is our solar system? Are we alone in the universe? These are just some of the questions I've asked myself since childhood. Today I come to this world's largest astronomy museum to try and find out some answers. This is the first zone of exhibition named Homeland, which shows all the planets in our solar system. Look at the Earth and Moon. The size of them is close to their real proportions. Here are some 17 meteorites, including some from the Moon and Mars. Look at this one, a 21.4 kilogram spaceman from a meteorite called Changxing. It fell onto a farm on Changxing Island in 1964, and the piece in this museum is the largest of them all. There is a belt region around each star called the habitable zone, where the temperature is moderate. This is where our Earth is located. Scientists say being in the habitable zone doesn't necessarily mean a world has the right conditions to support life. They are still researching the possibility of life on other planets. Here at the Odyssey Zone, there are 120 rare collections of artifacts, books, and telescopes showing the history of human space observation. Here's a U-22 rover and Chang'e 5 lunar probe show the highlights of China's lunar space programs. But let me try these virtual reality goggles. After wearing this goggle, I'm now roaming on the moon. I can jump to move forward. Okay. This is a really exciting experience. I think visitors will love it. This is a precise model of China's Tianhe Kong module. Three Taikonauts are now working on the Tianhe Kong module in space. But visitors can come here and take a closer look at how Taikonauts eat, sleep, grow plants, and do all kinds of experiments in space. From this Sandiang, 6,000 visitors will be allowed in here each day. But what exactly is a parallel universe and how would things look beyond our own universe? This tour has left me with even more questions. But one thing for certain, exhibition like this helps us learn more about the past, present and future. Because after all, exploring the unknown is part of human nature. Wu Lei, CGTN, Shanghai Astronomy Museum.